On a scorching day in June 2005, propylene gas, venting from a cylinder at a compressed gas filling and distribution facility, ignited, setting off fires and explosions that lasted five hours. The accident occurred at the Prax Air Company, located near an historic residential district in St. Louis, Missouri. Exploding cylinders were propelled into the neighborhood. Fortunately, no one was injured, although the flying debris caused property damage to buildings and cars. Everyone at the facility managed to evacuate safely. The U.S. Chemical Safety Board investigated the accident and issued a safety bulletin on the dangers of propylene cylinders exposed to high outside temperatures. The fire at Praxair was serious, and not the only one that has occurred at compressed gas facilities. The accidents show the need for companies to follow best safety practices for outdoor cylinder storage and fire protection. These measures will help protect firefighters and the neighboring communities. The Praxair fire revealed problems with pressure relief valves widely used on propylene cylinders. The valves present a potential danger during hot weather. On June 24, 2005, St. Louis was experiencing a heat wave. The high temperature that day was recorded at 97 degrees. At Praxair, thousands of compressed gas cylinders containing highly flammable products such as propylene, propane, and acetylene were stored outside in the direct sunlight. As the sunlight beat down on the cylinders, heat also radiated from the asphalt, driving up the temperature and pressure of the gases inside the cylinders. At about 3.20 p.m., Increasing pressure inside one cylinder activated its pressure relief valve. Gas pushed against the spring-loaded plug, allowing propylene to flow around it. Gas moved past the spring, out of the valve, and through openings in the cylinder cap. The propylene vented to the outside air and formed a flammable vapor cloud around the top of the cylinder. A static charge, created by the venting propylene, most likely ignited the vapor. A Praxair security camera recorded the vapor release and ignition. The vapor begins escaping from the cylinder seconds before 3.20 p.m. It ignites immediately. An employee sees the fire and sounds the alarm. Within 30 seconds, the fire is spreading rapidly, heating surrounding cylinders, causing them to vent gas, adding more fuel to the flames. Just over one minute after the initial vapor release, smoke begins to darken the facility as the fire rapidly grows out of control. Ninety seconds into the incident, the camera records blinding flashes as cylinders begin to explode. Cylinders begin rocketing through the air, further spreading the fire. Because the alarm was sounded quickly, all workers and customers evacuated safely. This news footage, recorded by KMOV-TV, shows the fireballs from exploding cylinders of propylene, propane, and acetylene. Gas cylinders, primarily of acetylene, rocketed up to 800 feet into the nearby community, damaging property and starting fires. Large fragments were later found on sidewalks, front and back yards, and parking lots. One piece landed near a yard where children were playing. Cars were set ablaze. One flying cylinder knocked this hole through the wall of a residential townhouse. Fortunately, no bystanders were injured by the flying debris. Although firefighters set up remote water sprays, they had to remain at a distance and could not enter the facility. An estimated 8,000 cylinders were destroyed by the fire, which took five hours to control. The St. Louis Medical Examiner attributed the death of one resident to an asthma attack triggered by the noxious smoke and fumes from the fire. This accident occurred because a propylene cylinder vented highly flammable gas into the open where it could easily ignite. U.S. Department of Transportation regulations require pressure relief valves on propylene cylinders, but the CSB found that the pressure relief set points specified in industry standards are too low for propylene and allow the gas to begin venting during hot weather, well below pressures that could damage the cylinders. Not only are the specified set points too low for propylene, the CSB found that some valves begin releasing gas even before the pressure reaches the set point. Finally, we found that each time a pressure relief valve opens, its performance deteriorates, 
making it more likely to vent gas at too low a pressure in the future. In addition to the incident at Praxair St. Louis, the CSB investigation looked at three similar incidents, including this one at the air gas distribution facility in Tulsa, Oklahoma in August 2003, a fire and explosions at the Air Liquide plant in Phoenix, Arizona in June 1997, and a fire at Praxair's Fresno, California facility in July 2005, just one month after the accident at the company's St. Louis facility. All involved the ignition of leaking propylene, and all occurred on hot summer days with temperatures above 100 degrees. This video, shot by the Tulsa Fire Department as firefighters sought to contain the 2003 fire, shows the extensive off-site damage that occurs from cylinders rocketing into nearby communities, setting fire to homes, vehicles, and businesses. Gas cylinder fires spread very quickly, and exploding cylinders put firefighters' lives at risk and endanger the public. The CSB Safety Bulletin recommends a number of best practices for cylinder storage and fire protection. We urge companies to install fixed fire protection systems, such as fire monitors or water deluge systems, which can cool cylinders and prevent the fire from spreading during the first critical moments after ignition. Gas release detectors can be used in storage areas to sound alarms and trigger fire protection systems. Barriers, such as concrete walls, can be installed to confine exploding cylinders to the storage area. The key lesson from the CSB's investigation is that many relief valves still in use today on propylene cylinders could lead to catastrophic fires during periods of hot weather. The CSB recommends that the Compressed Gas Association, the industry's primary safety organization, revise its standards for propylene relief valves. These valves need improved reliability and also a greater safety margin between the pressure of propylene inside the cylinders and the pressure at which the valves open so that they do not vent prematurely. Some compressed gas distributors, including Praxair, are already replacing relief valves on propylene cylinders. Propylene cylinder fires and explosions can be prevented. Thank you for watching this CSB safety video. For more information about the Praxair accident and the CSB safety bulletin, please visit our website at csb.gov.